is uh, tremendous energy and enthusiasm. I think we have today uh, two of the best leaders I've ever known. I, I can't tell you how old Chris is, but uh, he was in my class. Chris and Carmi Murphy connect the entire communities together. Carmi and Chris Murphy are special because not only of their commitment to the betterment of the South Bend community, but the fact that that commitment flows from deep love and care for the community. We've both grown up blessed. And when you are blessed, you have a sense of responsibility. Uh, we know that we've been given a lot of opportunities and we see what happens when you have good opportunities and we want to provide those to others. And I think that there are so many worthy causes. I think that there are needs to be met and it really gives you a, a good sense of what's going on in the community when you do involve yourself. You can find out you know, what is needed and, and what is already being done that is helping so many people. And then you see the people that have been helped and it just, it, it makes it more than worthwhile. What kind of a guy is Chris Murphy? Uh, he's, uh, he's an interesting guy. I've gotten to know him well in my time at the bank. Uh, uh, Chris is a personal individual. Uh, he likes to do things on a personal way and individualize things. And in all the community activities or work at the bank, uh, uh, personal relationships I think are very, very important to Chris. A trait that I admire about Carmi and Chris, because they're always a team, is a generosity that goes beyond what one ordinarily thinks about with generosity. They are generous with their time, they open their homes, they bring people together in ways that shows a true love for humanity. One of the strongest and most valuable qualities of Chris and Carmi Murphy is their uncanny ability to connect so many different people, organizations, and entire communities together. In this way, we can draw upon so many more talents, more strengths, and more resources than any of us can do separately. Chris and Carmi Murphy realized that by being inclusive and welcoming, all of us can build better organizations, stronger relationships, and healthier communities. So many times, Chris and Carmi were asked to chair an event or an organization. They always made sure that leaders from Elkhart and Goshen were represented. They recruited talent from LaPorte and from Plymouth. It was important to them to connect business leaders with the deans and the faculty from our great colleges and universities. They made sure that people from all walks of life and every corner of our community felt included, represented, and connected. I can't think of any other couple who is more deserving of this honor and have worked harder to connect so many of us together for so many wonderful events and good causes. I can't say that I have ever been tested, to be honest with you, but I do know many people that have. And I think spirituality is what helps people heal and go on. And since we do try to help organizations and individuals do that, I think that you have to have that. For me, I have to have that in my core to, to do what what little that I can do. So, yeah, I would say so. I, I think spirituality is probably a good word for it. Um, one I mentioned earlier about blessing. We, we certainly both feel blessed. And you're blessed by your parents, you're blessed by your family, you're both blessed by your circumstances, and those all come from somewhere else. We didn't choose any of that. That happened to us. So I guess we feel a sense of spiritual responsibility in that regard. And, and I think you also understand there's something a whole lot bigger than us out there. Uh, there's a good friend of ours who uh, 
many, many years ago, he used to give speeches, and I've copied him now, uh, when he says that the, the meaning of life is at the bottom of the old Coke bottle, and that's no deposit, no return. And the deposit is a spiritual deposit, and the returns are immense, spiritually and otherwise. I think South Bend is a model for a small community that doesn't just take care of itself, but takes care of its less honored members who have problems with housing, with uh, health, with a safe place to live. And all of that has been provided in the Center for the Homeless. And I'm deeply grateful to the family of Ernestine and and her daughter Carmi for the wonderful leadership they've all given. And Chris, of course, has come right into this picture. He was a president of the student body when he was here at Notre Dame, and he gave great evidence of leadership in that role. Very grateful to him, very proud of him as an alumnus of Notre Dame. He was a big muckety-muck. He was the president of the student body, and uh, he was flying around on jets with Mike Carmichael all over America, raising money for Notre Dame. So we didn't get to spend a lot of time together, but I knew Chris, uh, and it was really from uh, that that with a lot of our other classmates, um, we ended up with the relationship that we had. Well, I first met Carmi actually through uh, Joe and Chris. I remember that the Murphys had us over one afternoon, uh, a Sunday afternoon, uh, just so we could all get to know each other. And guess what? We had popcorn. Something new and different at the Murphy's house. <laughs> father was extremely demanding. Uh, you were expected to work when you were eight years old and from then on and uh, you were expected to, to do the right things and if you cro got crosswise with the teacher, the teacher was right. You were never right. Oh, well, I had a great childhood. My mother brought me up thinking I, I was thinking I was perfect. That's a great way to be a child. I remember um, she gave me voice lessons and dancing lessons and I thought until I was about 35 years old that it was because I was so naturally gifted and it was because I had difficulty walking. <laughs> For a child to be brought up in an environment where, you know, things are just lovely gives me a great sense of confidence, you know, in this day and age. And it also makes me realize how important it is, you know, to um, give people a smile and to tell people they've done a good job because it's, it's very important for people to keep going. I think, you know, you ask sort of what motivates me. I think what motivates me is the fact that, that I think that I can do some good stuff. And I know that other people can do good things. And I think that's all based on having a very, very happy childhood. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Chris and Carmi, thank you for your leadership and for the inspiration and legacy you have created for all of us. The community doesn't work without people like Chris and Carmi. We're so grateful to them for their friendship, uh, but as well for making this a wonderful place to continue to live. If you want someone on your team Chris and Carmi say yes, you know you've got a team member. They're not just there in name only. Really without people being involved, being willing to take leadership positions, uh, you don't really have a community that grows and thrives and prospers and in this day and age even survives. And I think uh, they epitomize uh, that type of leadership. I think every good effort that's been made in this community to take care of the less fortunate. you find Chris and Carmi in the vanguard leading the way and making things possible that otherwise would have been impossible. If not for you, babe, I couldn't even find the door. I couldn't even see the floor. I'd be sad and blue if not for
Without your love, I'd be no one. Thanks a lot. We love you. Congratulations. Very grateful to him. From the bottom of all of our hearts, Carmen and Chris, thank you. If not for you, 